Hi everyone, welcome to the APM tutorial session 8. So as of now you have seen how we can navigate to the desired element through scrolling uh, of a particular layout or list. Now you are going to print out all the elements inside the list up to that element. Okay. So agenda for today we will be scrolling through a list view or layout to find a desired element and we will print all the list items. Suppose if your contact applications, we are scrolling to some particular contact and you want to print all the contact of the contact applications. Yeah, you have navigated to your music library, which is quite similar to your contact applications. I mean, you want to print all the music your library ha is uh, currently having. Okay, so I will show you how can I how can uh, we uh, print all the list items from a uh, from applications. So for my case, I'll be using my music library app, and I'll be listing all these uh, tracks in my console. Okay, so let me take you to my clips. So I'm going to operate on this app, that music app, okay. Uh, my music app contains 66 song, and I'm going to navigate to some particular uh, app, particular app, and but not sorry, particular uh, track, and I want to play that track. Apart from it, I want to list all my all the tracks that my music library content okay so print if you want to print all the music tracks uh, you need to provide the last item track indexes okay or uh, the name so my last item name is you can see that uh, it's uh, 059rpkmusic.info so i need to provide the text that is the last item and it is called to the last item and during that process it will try it will uh, print all the track names for my console output okay so i created one class that music applications inside the class there is uh, several method I mentioned uh, that setup method we have set up the music app capabilities in that uh, uh, before class following uh, tear down method we are uh, closing down the quitting the driver and the before method after method we are just printing the name whatever the method I will execute and there are three test method I have taken first we are navigating to the music library I will open try to open my uh, uh, music applications and music application I will validate if it is successfully open or not. We will validate that it is title content should be my music. If it is uh, there, then my music library is successfully opened. And another thing, I will try to navigate uh, to my uh, try to print whatever the total songs and local songs is displaying or not. I will click on it and try to play randomly one and two songs. Okay. So if it is playing, then we can say that my music library opens successfully. So in the first script, it's simple. Second step, I want to scroll to some music. Uh, scroll to music here. I here you if you if you want to some provide some hard coded value. If you want to navigate to some particular music, so then you have to provide the music text here, yeah, music name as hard coded value, or you can provide it as a runtime uh, using the G option pane, or you can use the scanner class. For my case, I am using the scanner class that will take the input from myself uh, during the runtime. And it will scroll to that particular music and it will play it that I've written that uh, item that clicked. Okay. The next big important thing is that uh, I have taken uh, this uh, scroll to music and list description is like uh, list all the music while swiping. So, first, uh, if I provide some um, item name, now suppose item name provide that uh, this okay, uh, Hall of Fame. Up to Hall of Fame provides it will swipe down to the Hall of Fame and during that process it will list all the item that is visible to the uh, inside the layout. If you try to print all the item in the layout, it will print only the visible item. For my case, it's only print will six or seven items. The tracks it's getting displayed currently, but item will be get uh, the more you scroll, the more item will get visible, right? So normally, if you consider that uh, printing, just taking a form. For loop, I have to try to uh, print all the elements uh, during the uh, try to print all the elements just uh, normal way. It will consider the six or seven items. It will print all the values, but it will own scroll. So you have to you have to provide the uh, provide the printing mechanism that uh, whatever we are doing, we are printing the text of the text music in, in my console inside the scrolling. So while it will scroll, it will uh, continue to print our uh, track okay so so two operations will be doing at the same time first it will it's gonna swipe and accordingly it will get printed in my console output so let's see what I've done 
for my case i have clicked on the local song dot click so i'm clicking on this uh, local song dot click clicking on the page then i've taken two two options like boolean value boolean found equal to false boolean found is equal to false i am taking one array list that is uh, taken on the track object of the array list array list string classes and that is uh, that will be holding all my image tracks okay so while found result equal to false as long as it is false so i'm taking list mobile element driver dot find element by id okay so id is the track title if we navigate to my um, if we uh, let me show you if i navigate to my ui automator viewer i take the screenshot it will be easy for you to understand okay so this is my tracks uh, that free society that this is id you can see that uh, all the this is all the title this is id so id just so inside that while it is false while it is false it will try to find uh, the uh, title id of the particular tracks okay initial size equal to zero i have maintained and size it will get in, uh, in, incremented by element dot size okay so while i will continue to swiping so size will get incremented so total element as of now 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 there are six tracks so total six id will be there okay but as long as you want to swipe more item will be visible so size will get incremented for the for each uh, operation okay so i us create one loop for i equal to zero i less than size i plus plus and inside that i am considering taking the string object s which will store the particular track text value i mean the particular text uh, tracks name so element dot k type that particular indexes name i mean the track name i'm gonna i'm gonna hold into the inter, inside the s value so tracks dot add what i'm doing basically so before that while you have taken what error list tracks that is holding my error list okay why i haven't taken the error list because if you are gonna swipe and print you you will be having some duplicate value like uh, if you swipe this way so it will print some uh, track five tracks then if you it will again swipe uh, some uh, x a y coordinate and it will again print some value so it may happen that the same thing that we are seeing the, in the below portions will be listed in the upper portions so so if you swipe using the x and y coordinate it may happen that you will be having a duplicate value so i want to remove the duplicate value i want to get only the total number of songs and total number of list uh, i mean total i mean the number of the name of the songs of my all tracks okay so i'm considering all the value will be uh, storing as a tracks so the error list should be adding uh, I'm, I'm putting the value as a storing in the value in the error list string and if is dot content zero five nine i've given it means uh, i have told you guys this is my last song so i have to provide the last element uh, text whatever the text is the uh, last element I have to provide so if it is found found that the last element contains this one so it will um, the boolean found value will be true and it will break so boolean found value will be true and it is not found so as long as it is not found it will try to swipe swipe from uh, i am given swipe actions from x and y coordinate coordinate to the target coordinate okay and given the timer 25 I mean 2500 millisecond. Okay, so x coordinate y coordinate I have given. Let me show you guys. Um, it's not operating again. Um, let me connect this. Okay. So my device opened again and let me take you to my music applications okay so the this is my music applications so make sure uh, here we are swiping from the xy coordinate to the target xy coordinate and 2500 millisecond as i've already told you guys okay so make sure when you are doing you need to having that uh, xy coordinate uh, location should be displayed the additional settings and developer options and show touches below the portions yeah the pointer location along with you can also mention show touches uh, so that you can get the idea 
so touches and the pointer location it will display so you can see the pointer location i'm getting x value and y value so if this is the pointer now corresponding x and y will display okay so if i'm moving this way so corresponding the x and y coordinate is getting changed okay now suppose you want to perform uh, from this locations so from this locations so this location ha is having some x and y value the value you can see that x having 481 and y is having 735 so if i was calling the same keeping the x same okay if i was calling uh, calling vertically above so i come down to this point where x is remain same and y is not 200 only okay so the x values remain same and the y value have changed from 700 to 200 so this is how we can do the vertical scrolling and for my music application also i am swapping this way okay um from this point yeah. From this point, I want to scroll value is uh, almost 690 y value. I am scrolling this to y value 320 almost. Okay, so this way you can scroll and x will be remain same as we are doing the vertical scrolling. And the time I have mentioned 2500 millisecond. If you provide as a 1000 by yeah, 1 second, 1000 millisecond, uh, so it will try to scroll fastly. Okay. So make sure i mean you are providing adequate time so that it will scroll so i mean and print all the elements so that no no other no any elements get skipped okay and one more thing guys uh, if you scroll this way like suppose i'm scrolling from this options uh, track number 21 i'm scrolling uh oh drawing in this like scrolling from track number 31 okay Track number 31, I'm scrolling again. Okay. Yeah, so I'm track number 31, I'm scrolling, calling to the above. Okay. This way. Track number 31, I'm scrolling this way. So we can see it's it's scrolled successfully, but the track, the same track reader that already printed. Sorry, it's a little bit uh, hazy, active for me to show you guys this way, but as if i click on it's showing another option uh, uh, uh. yeah that what i'm what i'm trying to show that if you scroll this way like from this 30 number track if you are uh, navigating to the swiping to the, some target point target x coordinate so that same tracks is getting uh, now in the above of the screen so it may happen during the swipe the same track will get printed okay so it is uh, not possible to get the exact uh, number of tracks and to print the exact number of uh, tracks names during the swiping process okay it may contain some duplicate value during the swiping process so what i have done all the value during the swipe always it will be more than the total tracks that are available in my devices i have all this all these tracks names i put it into inside the inside the array listing so inside the array list that is containing all the duplicate values okay so i want to get the unique values only so i'm getting the unique values i've created one hash link hash set object and i'm adding the all the tracks item the array list contents inside that hash link set hs object okay so hs would add all you can see that the code here that i've written so links has to maintain order and remove the duplicates okay my array list is containing uh, duplicate values it will remove the unique values now I'm clearing my error list. See, so yeah, error list now got cleared, and now adding again all the tracks in the error list from where? From the link asset. The link assets now is containing all the unique values. So suppose uh, during the swipe, we have found total tracks is 88. Yeah, two three tracks is name is getting printed three or four times. Uh, all the tracks will get uh, put it inside the link asset so unique values will be considered now i'm deleting all the values inside the tracks i'm putting back the value from the link asset to the tracks and track does remove the first index i'm removing so for my case uh, for my case um, if i show you guys uh, the offline is also the uh, offline for this we are having resource id as the same for the for other uh, name the track name the id equal title it is also same for offline so i don't want to print that offline because this is not my tracks this is just a simple uh, simple text and 
offline uh, text i don't want to print this is as is not being a track name so i want to skip that part right so removing the first indexes so remove that zero it will remove the first index now i want to after removing the first index i want to print total songs available so track dot site will print the total songs it will print 66 as i'm having 66 starting the counter from i equal to 0 to less than 66 it will get incremented and i want to print the track one name is i plus one so first track is name will get printed along with the i i will get the track index so corresponding track index will get printed that the index i have stored inside the uh, array list um, uh, with that with the text name okay and after the successfully all the tags got printed now i'm clicking on the home button home means uh, back button this back button printing so here is my code um, you can have a look and you can implement the same in your applications if you are uh, working with some uh, library application your list application you want to print all the values so it is applicable for any contact list yeah, messenger uh, music library if you want to scroll and print all the elements okay now let me run it and I will look into it. my service working running properly applications it's for setting my music capabilities um, and beginning to my music app the first method is getting executed now it will wait for some time okay so moving to local songs it is playing the first song as i randomly mentioned to play the first song in my code so the song is getting played right now it's a good song okay the next method is getting called to music and for this method i have mentioned the scanner class that uh, will take the input from us so i want to i want to play the whatever the song i want to play i have to provide the name it will print the it will play the song so i don't know, want to provide the whole name just providing just play sub now let's see see i mean it's getting played another the base sub area so now playing base sub area and the next method i'm waiting for is called to fetch all so it will fetch all the elements the last element i mentioned 0, 05 nana this is my last song so it will navigate through all the elements from this xy coordinate from 1600 coordinate to 300 coordinate why i know let this sound okay so uh, all the tracks names getting printed successfully and we can see verify library open this music library app method pass call to music method successfully pass call to fetch all uh, those all methods successfully passed and it also printed the track name starting from the track one and it is maintaining the order as i'm using the linked hash set okay so the tracking from track one to track 66 all the tracks name getting printed order wise successfully okay total tracks found during swipe 88 i told you guys if you swipe and try to print it will may have, it will contain a duplicate value so total song found during swipe 88 and if you want to print all the song during swipe it will print the 88 song name that may obviously contain some duplicate value you don't want to input the duplicate value right so that's why i have taken one array list considering all the elements inside that i'm putting uh, it um, then uh, converting the array list element to the linked hash set to maintain the order and remove the duplicates and again keeping it back to the array list and printing so this way i'm printing all the elements and all my method could successfully pass okay so utilizing the same code guys you can do your own experiment in your app and print all the elements while scrolling so that's all for today guys if you have any questions uh, let me know 
i'll be happy to help you on that okay so thank you for watching guys